Welcome to the Pro Cheerleading Podcast, hosted by Makiba and Brittany, two former NFL cheerleaders discussing hot topics in the pro cheerleading industry and revealing the truth behind the palms. Hi, welcome in, you guys. Welcome to episode 13, Lucky 13. It's not bad luck 13, it's Lucky 13. Hi, hi. Super Bowl Shuffle. I know people might be too young to know this old behind song. You had to show me this one. And I know a lot of good music from... You do. It's okay if you didn't know this one, honestly. It's like the Chicago Bears one year doing the Super Bowl Shuffle where they each... I don't know if it was each person from their team, but quite a lengthy rap. It's pretty bad. It's so awesome. But it's cute to watch. It's cute. We will link it below, the Super Bowl Shuffle, in case you didn't know. I would love for any modern team to do it. Apparently, there's a dance, and one of the teams did it as, like, their Super Bowl celebration dance. Did you know that the Seahawks are, like, in the top four of the touchdown celebration? Yeah, when do they announce the winners of that? I think it's sometime this week for Super Bowl week. Okay. NFL honors. Because it is I'm, Super Bowl week. I'm kind of, you know, maybe partial, but the Seahawks did a pretty kick-ass little number, so I want them to win. It's choreography-based. They had some passion in there. They better win. They did quite a few, but only one made it. Yeah, which one, one was it? it? The one it where they're a, in a line, they like step out. Yeah, and step out. out. Yeah, I don't oh, even I love know what that that's based on. But Me neither. I loved it. It was funny. Go Hawks! Yes. Okay. Okay. Super we Bowl. We have had such a freaking like action packed. Yeah, I don't even know where I am. Where I am? <laughs> what city are we in? <laughs> where were we just a week ago? Just that a week ago. In freezing ass cold Florida. Yay! We tried our best to rough it, but we are out of practice roughing it. We just have to give the biggest shout out in the entire world without screaming to the 2019 Pro Bowl cheerleaders who danced in the absolute freaking cold, wet, windy rain, shitstorm rain. Like we live in Seattle and Obviously, we get rain, and it could be like a steady rain, but... It's a lo- myth that it rains all the time here. It, it, it really doesn't. It doesn't. We have great weather. Don't it's, come up here and start living here, because yeah. we don't need any more of that. We've got enough of you. But it's like a storm system. That's like a Seattle storm when they're like, oh, there's a storm coming through, and it'll be like wind and rain and cold. Like, that was pretty steady rain. I was sad when I woke up and realized that the girls were having to go out and that but they were they looked so happy like nothing faced right. them I mean your hair gets wet you you got a two-piece on you just can't be warm like you're Mm-mm. chilled to the core and they must have just still somehow had the time of their lives yeah kudos to them we punked out because we have to confess yeah we, we did not go to the game we, we did. didn't secure tickets which was good because people yeah. had tickets, and if you saw in the stands during the game, there weren't a lot of people. There weren't there. a lot of people. And then um, that morning, I walked to Wawa to get some breakfast. Yes. I'd never been to Wawa before. I it was like knew super all about awesome. Wawa from my days in Philly, but I'm glad you experienced it. Yeah, yes. and I it started raining pretty heavily, and I got drenched. Like Just trying to go across. I the looked street. like a crazy person walking the, across the street with my little powdered donuts. Well, like nobody walks in Florida. It's right. so spread out. I mean, we didn't hit up Disney World. We were too busy getting all this amazing footage of mm-hmm. the wonderful ladies. We went to Pro Bowl Experience. We went to the pep rally, and we took plenty of pictures and video on our YouTube channel, Instagram, everything. We tried to tag as many of the girls as possible, but we really just wanted to like celebrate the fact that they were there. We got. Such good, I think, they, I mean, they were super entertaining to watch, gorgeous. I mean, I was a fan. Yeah, check out our Instagram for sure. We posted all of our stories permanently on our page, Pro Cheerleading Podcast. Yes, yes, yes. And a special shout out to Carolina Panthers, Alina. She was given the handshake to That's all the guys. Sweet. It, like, inspired me and my guy to try to come up with a handshake that oh, was, like, kind of an epic one? fail. Oh. It's pretty It's pretty bad, but he's happy with it, so whatever. My kids have little handshakes handshake. with their dad. Yeah, oh, cool. Not with me. You should learn it. Wait, why don't they do it with me? Right. I'm not... Cool enough, fine. But I thought that was really cool. Yeah. She seemed, you said, like, that's kind of her tradition, yeah. and, like, a lot of girls do that, but I didn't see any other girls I remember seeing do it. it last year, only for the Panthers, though. It must be a Panthers thing. Okay. That's Talk cool. about other traditions. Like, how about 50 Oakland Raiderettes cheerleaders were there holding it down for Johnny? Like, that yeah. was so cool for everybody to come up and support her, and maybe that's tradition. I don't know. Even one of our very own Seagulls was there. Yeah. Althea. She cheered for the Raiders. I didn't even we realize We didn't know that. that. But um, you but can't that, miss them too. I'm trying to find her name on Instagram now, but one 
actually liked our page today and reached out and was like, I don't think you probably noticed Angel us. Angel or something? Like yeah. That? yeah. And I was like, girl, of course we noticed you. They you guys are like flawless. I looked homeless because we had a rough night the night before. And I was like. And it was cold. It was cold. Oh I mean, gosh. we were, I did not pack correctly again because I didn't expect, I thought, thought Florida was like sunny. Yeah. As soon as that sun went down, boy, <sighs> oh boy, it was a whole other story. But the girls during that pep rally, especially went into the evening hours and you know, there's a body of water. I don't know if that was like a lake or what in downtown Disney. That's not another they swamp. It. They call it Disney Springs. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Disney World. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go to Disney World, P.S., because it was just. It's a, craziness, it's actually. Huge. Everything's so Seems really out. overwhelming. But there was a body of water and the wind started picking up and misting all over the girls. So I just felt cold in my soul. But, but you they, could not tell looking at them. They were <sighs> true professionals and like fought through and we're so happy to be there and it made the audience enjoy it yeah you know the audience was into it it Mm -hmm. felt like we were like a rock concert we tried to get footage and there's like this detroit lions (laughs) guy like stick punching his arm in the air and there's like the other guy that looked like he was in church like every time somebody (laughs) said something he's like hallelujah (laughs) so funny i know i sent one of the videos to jada i think and i'm like put your hands down and then like i start recording i'm like oh no wow i'm so good at this oh talk about the 49ers fan who's talked some shit when jessica said that Mm -hmm. she loves math and like she's an an accountant accountant. yeah he said some what did he say she can only probably count to 12 and like i get can't talk can't count past 12 yeah i get the reference because like we're the 12s but we turned around we turned around and gave him death stares for like the rest of the time and we were like taking photos of him (laughs) and like we're like yeah this is going on our instagram like how dare you (laughs) yeah that was we're such fierce loyal supporters exactly like why are you here then exactly keep it moving Go freaking jump in the lake yeah. behind them, asshole. Anyway, I'm sorry. Hi. But that's exactly what, you know, we're trying to fight with the podcast. And I felt like so many girls had great answers. Uh, let's talk about that. They seem fiercely, like, adamant. And I'm really glad like they were. Gia. Gia, Gia. Put it down. She was just like, we are real women. And she yeah. was just like, yes. Like, I climbed Kiliman- Mount freaking Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. I don't hide, girl. I'm sorry. Kilimanjaro. <laughs> I can't even get it out. But, like, totally, like you said, just, like, mm-hmm. repping for what they do. And they Candace, have- come on, quote her. That was like, oh. Yeah, she was just, oh, my gosh. Don't even put me on the spot. I cannot do her justice. She was like, because, you know, she's a software, software engineer. She was like, for multiple federal government clients. clients. And, and then like, stepped back. Yes, like, and just the hair flip and just, I'm obsessed. Let's talk about who we picked for our Wonder Woman Wednesday. I picked Brittany. And she's with the you Arizona just Cardinals. Her because of her name. Like, be <laughs> yes. real. No, but it was revealed at Disney Springs that she's a mom of two. Yeah, I wish we could have known that. Right. I would have been That's told. not in her bio. So that was really cool. And let's just talk about she's in amazing shape. You would not never guess it. But, I mean, just kudos. And then yeah. it's the Saints cheerleader is also a mom. Right. Of one. It was mm-hmm. cute when she said that. But, um, but yeah, so you picked Brittany. Yeah. She was fun to watch. That whole squad, the NFC line two, was Really fun to watch, yeah. Did you have a favorite line? Well, that was another thing, is I almost picked Johnny. I really wanted to pick Johnny. You were torn. Yeah, I was, like, totally girl-crushing on her. She seemed really awesome, too. And like you said, she cheered for five seasons, took a break, and came back and, like, totally killed it. So She was fun to watch, too. She was in dead center and just, like, yeah, that was a fun. And I think maybe it was because that was the only line or squad we didn't really get to meet. That's true. So it was a little bit like, oh, I wonder what they're like, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. We did get some up-close interviews. Not interviews. But just interaction. Just interaction. That's what we meant to say. And just, you know, it was... We appreciate you guys entertaining us. It seems like they know who we are more now than like, in the who moment. Is this woman? I think I was literally like a babbling idiot. I was like, we have a podcast and we already featured you guys and we feel like we know you already and we're just so happy to be here and thanks, congratulations. I don't know what the hell I said to that first line. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, it's fine, whatever. But who was your picks? And honestly, these are like we loved all the girls but we these are kind of my picks too yeah no so i had to give it to candace um as the queen of all things because she was just i don't know it was just like i could i could so take my approachable eyes off her. Yeah. but so like untouchable so beyonce stunning. just like you can't fabulous yes yeah, just on a whole nother level love just all i mean for each of the ladies their teams totally like 
were tweeting about them, like posting about them, just totally supporting them and seeing mm-hmm. it all in their stories. It just really shows that they totally supported who was selected. And it was awesome to see that. And she just, you know, from her career to just her personality, she's like the only person smizing in this Pro Bowl picture. And it's it gives me life. I just cannot. Bodies banging, like everything is just everything. I cannot. Yeah. But I also, I mean, I had so many. Okay, the Bengals cheerleader. Um, Abby. Yeah. She was just so cute and infectious at the pep rally. Like, I just liked everybody's energy. Um, I had a few little favorites. Kayla from the Eagles. Like, man, I can go on and on. But it was awesome to see see them so happy. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that was, they just were living their best life. Yeah. Smile, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, would we, I mean, I just wish they had better weather. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll go next year and cover the girls Maybe again. Maybe they need to go back to Hawaii and then yeah. they can go again. Yeah. Orlando, you're on timeout. Your weather was a little too scra- sketch and iffy for me. Yeah. And maybe we're talking about Pro Bowl too much, but I felt like the girls really showed up and like represented the teams more so than the players did. I know that's why we went there, so we mm-hmm. were really seeking them out. But like they were at a celebrity flag football match that was really poorly organized, Very. and they still showed up, did the dang thing. The audio wasn't the best. Um, yeah, they, they used they it kind were of as a practice to each other game. while they were performing. Mm-hmm. They had to count, yeah. and you could hear the counting over the music, and just the fact that they, you could never tell that there was anything going wrong, wrong but exactly. just the fact that we have been in that situation before, mm-hmm. we could tell, like, uh oh, this doesn't look yeah. well organized. Right, right. Um, they just totally were such great Super representatives. Yeah. Lots of fan interaction and genuine. Um, just, I love that too, where they like, would see somebody wearing like you know Baltimore Ravens jersey, and it yeah. would be like, "Come over here!" Right, like, right, right. It's so exciting to see fans that maybe have traveled, and yeah. you know, it's I just mean, fun it, it, to it see your people. It, exactly. I mean, there weren't. Do we see a lot of Seahawks people? There actually was quite a few, but mm-hmm. I would say it was like the same number as other teams. Okay. You know. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, yeah, that flag football game definitely could have been better. A little better organized. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was really disappointed that they performed that. Can we just talk about that intro number? Yeah. Now? Um, shout out to the choreographers who like handle all of the things and the, all the staff that seem to take such good care of the ladies. It, um, they were very well attended to. We tried to buddy it up with one of them and she was awesome to talk to. Um, but they did this awesome number where it's got all these transitions and formations and each girl gets a chance to come forward and do an eight count. And it was so seamless we're watching it all from the back because they performed it to the other side. I don't know why they did that when all the fans were on our side, but that I want to see that routine again. That's mm-hmm. the only reason why I would have tried to rough it in that game. Yeah. I would have probably had the cheap seats and not a good view. <laughs> right. But it was really cool. And I, I actually haven't seen anybody else post that, too. So maybe that's coming later. We'll repost it if we can. But yeah, um, it's from the back. Yeah. I mean, they had a few parts that were to the other side, but not enough to, like... And see, how would we know if we went to Pro Bowl? Like, we would, just knowing our luck, we would have picked the seats and paid for them up close and personal on the backside again. Exactly. Like... Just because. Just because that's us. Yeah, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Well, we have all our footage out there. We will be, you know, looking for people to... I mean, that's the main reason we wanted to go, because there's always such little out there to show the whole squad not just like the girl that you're watching for if you're there in person mm-hmm. to see video so hopefully we did a good job you might hear me screaming like mm-hmm. I do with my kids when I <laughs> record them <laughs> but um, we, we had to do cheer chat about Pro Bowl I mean, yeah it was a lot of fun so much fun on and off the Pro Bowl field no, yes <laughs> we had a little fun and a little too much fun sometimes but it was a great time yeah, you'll hear about some similar things in our <laughs> locker talk about Super Bowl. So let's get into it. Let's talk about Super Bowl. I know. Is oh this like gosh. the biggest game in sports, it football, everything. the year, everything? It is such a big deal. And we were looking it up, and there's some teams who've never been yeah. or have gone multiple times and never, never won. won. So it's like, I didn't realize, I figured, eh, every team's probably gone at least once. But that's not true. So no. Nope. So crazy that we both went and you went twice back to back. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, maybe not crazy for like a Patriots cheerleader, but it's crazy in the grand scheme of things that this Mm -hmm. definitely does not happen. And that's just as true for the players. You know, they can have their whole career in the NFL and never be on a Super Bowl team. team. 
That's crazy. It's crazy. So to be able to, I mean, let's just, this will be the only time. I can't even believe I'm saying it. Maybe because I fell in love with Kayla from the Patriots Cheerleaders. But, I mean, to be able to have that kind of a program where you can make those types of appearances year after year after year, like nine Super Bowl appearances, is kind of insane. And They went that many times? I didn't know that. Literally, yes. See, like, Makita is the football girl. <laughs> I'm just kind of, like, here for the ride. So, wow, um, that's a lot. That's a lot. And not to go back to Pro Bowl, but I did feel bad because, like, anytime Patriots anything came up, people were booing their behinds off. But, you know, the girls... You can always love the cheerleaders. You can hate the team and love the cheerleaders. But, um, but yeah, they've, they've been nine times. So I'm kind of over them. I'd love it if they would stop. Oh, the going. Patriots have been nine. Nine. Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying the Eagles have been nine and they no. never won. No, the Patriots No, I know have the been Patriots have been in. When, what Super Bowl haven't they been in? I know. That's the ridiculous part. I know. But, you know, I will say. The reason people them. boo the player is because of the players and the team. Right. But it's because they're a little shady. Let's be real. Oh, I'm I'm not acting like I'm Yeah, the cheerleaders smart. aren't. We do some shady shit to them at our <laughs> I know. Uh, we'll get into that. We sure um, did. Not I very think nice. That jinxed us. I totally agree. Should we just tell them now? Sure. Before we get into it, here's a little side story. Go. <laughs> well, we when you're at the Super Bowl, only one team performs at a time. You're like almost like a high school game. One squad is on the other side of the field, you know, spread out on either end, and the other team is on the other side. And you get one quarter change a piece. And our director loved dancing a lot during Super Bowl. We have a method. We'll get into it as to how we just dance to anything that's playing. But the first Super Bowl that we won, we watched the Denver Broncos cheerleaders perform during their quarter change was it a song that you guys had you know or used during the season no, no? Okay. but you know any song that came on she it's was just, like you respect it, it. Yes. they're performing right now and just a chance for yeah. us to see another team perform what happened in arizona Brittany? the patriots and she probably knew this ahead of time um it was a song that we had done a, like a sideline to during mm-hmm. our season regular season so she was like dance if they're dancing to, I don't know. I don't even remember. But Simply I, the best. You know, you're going to do it. Do the one that we did. And we're all like, what? No. And it's like in the moment. She's yeah. like, yes, dance. So while they were having their one and only moment yes, where everybody's eyes are focused on them, we were dancing too. It was like a dance off. And I wasn't comfortable with it. I felt like we were being so disrespectful. I was like, this is not a good sign. Right. I didn't feel good about it like at all. Yeah. So that happened. And then... Did they dance during ours? Cheerleading no. beef, but we I know. Just, I just felt uncomfortable, and I thought it was a bad sign because there were other bad signs that dang on trip, like yep. somebody spitting in your hand at a fan rally. Yeah, and what did you do? No, and saying. I threw up on the plane Yay. on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, yeah, okay so, so we're getting into the Super Bowl shuffle. Oh my goodness! So, Whew. yeah, we had a lot of shit to talk about. We better get going. I know, and it might get a little confusing because. We went back to back. Yeah. I, I went one year because I wasn't on it the year they won. Of okay. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. And then we had the Super Bowl, the sack, the sad Super Bowl. Yeah, the one we lost. The one we lost together. Mm-hmm. So we'll be flipping back and forth between the two experiences, but... Preparation and, like, leading up and the week of is very similar. It's, like, the same. Yeah. So... Break it down now. Well, All right. So, so playoffs. Yeah. We already had the playoffs. We know who's there. Patriots and the Rams. Mm-hmm. Talk about our boys getting all the love in the world. So cool. Making For history in Atlanta right now. Two first male NFL cheerleaders ever to be at the Super Bowl. So Quentin just, and Napoleon. Yeah. And they look like they're just having the time of their lives. I'm so excited for them. They just... Shameless plug, we covered them, and boys just want to have fun. So if you want to hear all about them, I know, right? We've been on it, and I'm just kidding. Season one, check it out. Episode three. Um, Did you see their performance at the opening night? I think I did. Okay, that bugs me that they don't have palms or something. Or, like, maybe this would be very Michael Jackson, but, like, gloves or something. They need a little something. I almost didn't notice them. And then as a, yeah, as the dance went on, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're there. Like, I didn't even notice them. I want to do that dance routine. I'm sorry. Like, I thought I had enough of Sierra level up from Pro Bowl, but when I heard it with um, Uncle remix. Luke up in there, yeah. oh my gosh, cannot handle it. <laughs> and all the little shit that they were, okay, that was. I'm going to rewatch it. You should link it below if you can. It's it's a hype ass performance. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And they're in Atlanta. They better bring that yeah. stuff, whatever right? you call it. Frida, big Frida. You already know. That's Nola Bounce. 
Oh, okay. but close. Sorry. Neighbors. I'm going to just stick to what I know. Anyway, Rams cheerleaders doing their thing. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen a lot about Patriots. I feel like the Rams are kind of overshadowing them a little bit. Yeah. Patriots cheerleaders, you need to hold it down and... Well, are you rooting for the Rams or the Patriots? Hell yeah, I'm rooting for the Rams. Me too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Kayla. No, I'm kidding. But um, I would love to see the Rams do it. They remind me of our team. They were always a tough team for us to play at I home. I hated playing them. Right. We hated playing them because they always whooped our butt. So they've yes. always been like right there and always kind of deserving. Yeah. And just their cheerleading program seems really like... Yeah, I love... With it, you I know? love how their season's been going as a mm-hmm. whole. It just has like this magic in the air, and that's kind of what the Seahawks had. I feel like the year that we won, it was just right. kind of like everything kind of going right. You just feel good about it. The fans are behind. Like everything was just so. It was like a unity. That, like you said, yeah. the next year there was an air of arrogance where the first year it was like very humbling, right? And we barely made it the second year into the Super Bowl. I mean, that playoff game was nuts. Yeah, I was like saying my lucky number over and over again. And you were thinking about everything that needed to happen because yeah, you're a so sports let's girl. Yeah, so for people who don't know. Like, okay. The Seahawks were playing the Packers for the NFC Championship game, and we were playing, like, donkey doo-doo brown, doo-doo brown doo-doo. Yeah. Like, the entire three and a half quarters of that game. We were – I don't remember all the stats of, like, how far we were down, but it was going down to the wire, like, onside kick kind of wire – to get back in the game. And Brittany's like, what the hell are you talking about? The point is, it did not look like we were going anywhere. It was a football miracle. Like, it has to be down in history as one of the miracles of football. Because we won that game. It totally was. What was it like to win? Like, I was so, like, excited because I felt like I had totally missed out on the year prior. Um, and I told so, you we were going back. Didn't I tell you we were going back? How yeah. Early in that and then season? I tried to make you tell me again the next year. And you're like, no, we're not going. <laughs> I was like, yes. Yeah, three years in a row. I tend to have psychic tendencies. Three P. That's what everybody wanted. It was not going to happen. I know. Yep. Nope. Yeah. But it felt so good. I was in shock. Um, I ran up and picked our buddy up, Sunny, and she's like (laughs) this microscopic little woman. And I definitely got talked to, like, please don't pick up your teammates in front of everybody. But it's just like... The whole the stadium is freaking out. Yeah, You're we had, freaking we out. We had home field advantage. Yeah. So all of those playoff games like let were us at be home. real. It was it's a so real exciting raw emotion. Yeah, and that mo- that moment is when I connected with the fans that I was in front of because a lot of people left the game exactly because they gave up hope on our team. They were trying to get back in. And they were trying they said to get no. back in. I may have already covered this in another episode, but it was just such a an awesome feeling when we made it to the Super Bowl that particular year. The other year we beat the Forty ers and it was like the you know, the amazing pass. and Yeah. Because the true fans stuck around. They did. You know, so that's why it was so Beautiful. powerful. And that's when, who was it? Michael Bennett's riding around on his bicycle. Uh-huh. You got confetti everywhere. You got the stage being built. And you're just, like, flipping out, like, we're going to the effing Super Bowl. Like, right. it's the most amazing, exciting feeling in mm-hmm. the world. And they put on the T-shirts over their pads. We don't get a T-shirt, but it's okay. And you're kind of just like... Well, everything's choreographed. And in that moment, it's like, what do we do? What do we do? And it's like, line up! You know, and it's like, it's probably... We probably looked a hot mess. But basically, you know, we line up down, you know, along the the 20-yard line or something. And just so exciting. And then comes the hard work, right? Right. Because you got to prepare for the week ahead like or the two weeks because it's kind of two weeks out Mm -hmm. um but you know there's there's a lot that happens behind the scenes i think our director at the time had a method to her madness you know she had a master song list of all the things that the dj was going to play and her thing was like she wants to be dancing the entire time Mm -hmm. so what did she have us do like set it was kind of like you were paired up and you were assigned you and your partner were assigned like three or four songs and then um a dance to go with it. Yeah, yeah, a dance to go with it. So you had to instantly recognize it and exactly she wanted us dancing sooner rather than later. So yeah. it was like just an eight count count in and you start the dance. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it was really awkward because we're basically like a puzzle fitting these dances that we've done all season to a brand new song. A brand new set list, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. and you're kind of like trying to figure it out. And shout out to Gretchen. Uh, she was on the team and <laughs> she was my partner. And I had to look to her every time a song was 
played. She's like, that's us, number four. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Because what you're doing is you're screaming it out for everybody mm-hmm. else. That Everybody's you- a squad leader exactly. for Super Bowl, basically. Exactly, to call out the dance and have everybody understand what they're supposed to do because you there was no way to like know all the songs. So it was really exciting. And then you had that one routine that you were performing at the game. So it, it simplified practice a lot. But there were mm-hmm. so many like logistics and so many promo appearances that you're doing in your community because everybody's hyped about the playoffs and going to the Super Bowl. So it was a really busy two weeks leading up to the Super Bowl. Right. That's true. I never lots thought about practice, that. Lots of practice. Lots of appearances. Like, and you want to do it all because the hype is real. Mm-hmm. Like even what, um, the year that, I don't know if we did the same thing the second year, but remember when our fans used to be so like die hard that they would like go to the airport they would line the airport streets we when did they would do that. leave, and then they would also welcome them back, win or lose. They would be a, a group of fans. They could uh, they could arrive at like four in the morning mm-hmm. from an away game, and our team, uh, these group of fans, would were literally there to welcome them back and greet them, which I always thought was crazy. Yeah, I did that one. It was a little unorganized, and mm-hmm. I was like walking back to my car, and some guy was like, "Brittany, Brittany, seek out Brittany," and he was like following me, so I started walking faster. Oh, he yeah. caught me and handed me photos that he had taken of myself. Oh. Oh, it's a little weird. Have a lot of fans, <laughs> Brittany, that do the wildest things. A little bit. No, but, but that's but that I remember send-off. Those. The send off was huge. I just remember being so grateful that I got off the freeway by doing some illegal driving because it was already <laughs> packed already packed to oblivion. It's just so overwhelming. The twelves are a pretty passionate fan base and they were you know, you want to be out there in the community for mm-hmm. those appearances because it's just like the hype just kept building and swirling and swirling and just makes it even more like exciting exciting yeah oh my gosh i'm getting like chills thinking about it oh my god i know i wish we could go back and like kind of redo i know the patriots just talking to like when you're you know when you're preparing as a squad i just i was looking back at some emails and you know everybody's just the energy that you feel like you're all excited you're trying to help each other like i'm doing a cleanse if anybody wants to do it and like meet me at the pure, you know, whatever, to work out. Like, everybody was just so excited to support one another, congratulating each other. Like, we're Super Bowl cheerleaders. Like, and you guys kind of had to foot the bill for a girl who had her yes. uniform stolen. Oh, my gosh. The night of the championship game, the first Super Bowl, um, I think she went to have dinner or whatever. Her car got broken into. They stole her suitcase that had every single seagull thing your game day suitcase. Yeah. And like, like bitch, you better have your money. That's on us to replace if you exactly. lose, you know, damage, whatever. Yeah. So how much was it? I don't remember what the price tag was. Did total. you pitch like in? 25. Yeah, I did pitch in. Oh, so one of the girls started an email chain of just like, you know, maybe we could just do like a collection and at least it's something to go towards that bill because she had to do it for Super Bowl. Right. Not that I, I don't think that she would have like not allowed her to borrow another uniform, but it was just kind of like, you she needed everything replaced yeah that's everything tough. replaced so anyway i mean we were all like one big love boat everybody was just like oh my god of course you know you got your pro bowl cheerleader getting ready to go off to hawaii for pro bowl i mean there's so much going on but it was like such a camaraderie of like we're we're a team like mm-hmm. i'm so proud of us and like i think both years we had a really solid cheerleading squad so you felt like i mean an elite Super Bowl cheerleader. I don't know. <laughs> but you just felt proud. Yeah. There was an overwhelming sense of pride and teamwork and just a big, fat love fest. Right. Well, when you think about it, too, we leave or head out kind of midweek of the week of. So, yeah. like, Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Um, you're kind of flying out all together on, a on charter the charter plane. flight. Ooh, yes. Fancy. And so it's kind of like a week and a half, really. You know, not anything really. About that. It's not. It's longer well, than that. Well, lo- less because we leave. That's on, what I'm saying. Well, during Super Bowl week, like I've noticed that the other teams, I'm not going to be salty, but they left like on a Monday. Mm-hmm. We didn't get to leave till like Wednesday. I think we left Thursday. If I'm not mistaken, we did a backdrop Wednesday night and then we left Thursday morning. Okay. Which is hella late. That's like at the end of. That's like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where some other teams are getting there. Monday. That does sound about right. You guys yeah. did that for both. Yeah. Okay. Because I only know the one I went to. Oh. So. Okay. Yeah. Arizona. But it was definitely not as long as some of these other teams that are doing all these other like build up events during mm-hmm. the Super Bowl week. That's cool. It's cool for them. Yeah. Whatever. No, but kidding. you do have a jam packed schedule. Once you get there, you kind of like Seriously. throw your stuff in your hotel room. We were roomies. Yes, Who'd you we room were. with the first time? Jelly. Oh, fun. Mm-hmm. That's yep. a good one. In a very small New York hotel. hotel. <laughs> but yeah, we were roomies and, you know. Oh, okay, let's, can we talk about the hotel in Arizona? You didn't like it? It was a piece of shit. 
Sorry, it w- I'm not trying to be like that. But remember compared to the Players Hotel, which was like a resort and just so fabulosity level. Where the parties were? Yeah. Oh, it was like a Night huge. And day. We were like pretty much at a Best Western that got converted. Into I think a it was a Holiday Inn. <laughs> yeah, that got converted to like a four-point Sheraton, but it was a piece of doo-doo. Next yeah. To like some, it was just all out the way and stuff. Like, why weren't we in the same hotel as the other cheerleaders? I don't think the Patriots were there. Yeah, that's true. I didn't see any of them there. I think they just stuffed us wherever. Yeah, basically. Oh, my gosh. I'm just having all kinds of flashbacks. I'm sorry. (laughs) That hotel was a little janky. I'm a hotel snob, though. That's that's why I was concerned about about Orlando. Because our Airbnb, the one I booked, canceled. And so I was like, oh, my gosh. (laughs) Makiba has these, like, standards for these hotels, and I can't find a replacement. So it was Scramble City. But anyways. Yeah. No, I'm a little bit of Didn't we run into some people from... um, Love and hip hop. We did. In the That's elevator. exactly what I was thinking about. Yeah, and I didn't know who they were. I can't think of his name to save my life. But it was and like, I like reality TV. Like I love the Real Housewives and all mm-hmm. that. But I do not watch Love and Hip Hop, so I did too, not know who they, they were. Just but fight they were every episode. Though. Yeah, but they were. I was like, who are these people yelling at each other in the elevator? And they were like smoking <laughs> a cigar and they're like looking you up and down. And I'm just like, oh my god. Oh yeah, that was a little. Weird. It ghetto. was weird, and it's that's like I'm you're sorry, saying. We have to get up really, really early get glam and then drive or you know be vanned to these events mm-hmm. jam-packed schedule and we were far away from everything that's like, what i'm I saying i would love to go to super bowl experience but it was know, so just far getting there and traffic and everything else um we ended up doing different things because like you said there's appearances um and then you got two or three a day yeah so like the night that we get in it's either inside edition or entertainment tonight um, both years they come and like come to our practice and they bring a gymnast. It was Gabby Douglas my year, and then it was like Sean, just Sean Johnson. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they kind of we teach them a dance and they dance with us and you know just I think they were on Dancing with the Stars at the time and so you know there, there's all these plugs. Yeah, that, I mean, but celebrities it's, it's fun. I remember going up to Gabby Douglas at the because I forgot my palms like an idiot in my Uh-oh. hotel room and I was like Akiba. dying inside. But I ran into her, you so would. I got a chance. I know <laughs> I got a chance to just like thank her because you know she was she was just such an inspiration. My daughter and I watched her in the in the Olympics, and you know she took an interest in gymnastics from seeing you know seeing her. So so lots of appearances. So you have that one at least I can remember. What happens the following morning? So this is like Thursday morning, no Friday morning. Good morning, America. I wasn't on that one, but okay. definitely a lot of TV, really early stuff, and then. You get, like, a little bit of a break. I don't even remember, like, having schedule. lunch and stuff. Do you? No. Like, well, I don't remember eating. <laughs> I probably didn't want to eat because I wanted to look good in my <laughs> uniform. But. Yeah, there was, like, you know, like, in New York we did. We went down to the studios for Good Morning America. Um, I was kind of obsessed with Good Morning America at the time. And I met Lara Spencer. She was, like, I was nice. just so excited to even just walk by her and Robin Roberts, like, mm-hmm. dressing rooms during that morning. And oh, I think we got yelled at that morning. Uh oh. Was, was so this awkward. in New York? Yes. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, I People don't remember were this. posting social media and breaking rules, and oh. she was hella upset. And she like just completely buzz killed the whole mood that morning. But I was just so happy to be on the set of GMA, and we were waiting for the our little chauffeur to come or driver to come and pick us up. And so we were right outside the studio, and she walks up. And I kind of can do that where I just act like I know you already, and I, I have that. Bad. Yeah, you do. And I I'm do like, that. you know them? You're like, no. No, I don't. I, yeah, I do that. But I saw Lara Spencer, and I like, I was like, Lara, I love you, and like literally hugged her. She could have like, I could have got like body <laughs> slammed by security, but she was Tased so sweet. Or she was something. like, I love you too. Like, I just kind of like, it just was like a knee jerk reaction. Yeah. I'm a little, I'm not a, yeah. I'm I don't a know. flirt. I am. Mm-hmm. I'll flirt Is that an R. Day. Kelly song? Yes. Oh, great. I know. He's Don't everywhere. Do that. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Anyway, moving on. Okay. So lots of appearances. If you're not picked for appearances, you just have downtime. Right. And you're, this will kind of lead into our locker talk, but you are required to wear fan gear, which means... Everywhere you go. Yeah, everywhere you go. You're not going to be dressed into the nines. Like if you're wearing high heels, it's our glitter ones. When I was going through emails, I saw one that said, do not even pack a dress. Like, yeah, don't pack a dress. Like, can you guys imagine we're supposed to go out? We're not supposed to look like cheerleaders and like, I don't know, pump it up or yeah. whatever. So oh fan gosh. gear, I pack like jeans. My joke for New York was like, we look like, see, okay, I'm, I know I've tried to get you to watch Coming to America like 50 million times, <laughs> but there is a scene in Coming to America where Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall are like, you know, they just came from Africa. And so yeah. they're like, 
we need to go shopping because everybody stole their shit because they just left it on the sidewalk. Anyway, the point is they they went and got so much fan gear. It was like I love New York everywhere. And oh. so they so we I had like a Seahawks beanie on, a Seahawks scarf on, a Seahawks jacket. Like it was like I looked like the dude from Coming to America. I'm gonna post the picture because we have a little a lot of young years. <laughs> but it was like I've seen it. You parts have seen? of it. Okay. But it's a really fun I know what scene. you mean. But we were that's how decked out in fan gear we were. It was Seahawks everything. Yeah, don't plan Down on dressing up yeah. like you're not going to be wearing high high heels or anything right so yeah i think you know go to dinner or just kind of keep it low-key right yeah and then a lot of us were smart and didn't go crazy because you have an early appearance you knew right. your schedule ahead of time you know she split it up by squad and height and all that good stuff yeah. so it was even well some girls mm. mysteriously were like sick the following morning yeah and it was like oh why do you smell like margaritas you know <laughs> sure you're sick i wish i could be sick too exactly for a 5 a.m wake up call oh remember somebody didn't get woken up yeah or waken up what's mm-hmm. the word i'm looking for um by their roommate or that whatever. happens a lot yeah i mean you when know. we do the show group thing that's always like oh my alarm didn't go off you know Ooh. it's like but the other 11 or nine of us did. Right, right. Anyways. You do have a... It's a job. You are there working. Exactly. I mean, if if you don't get picked, like I said, it's downtime. I ended up going to the Alvin Ailey School, um, dancing school in New York when I was there because I didn't... I wasn't selected for some stuff. And I was like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. You know, I got together with a law school classmate and, and went to check out that and kind of got to see some people that were in... And that's really cool. School. You schooled me on that school now and like... Oh, yeah. Alvin Ailey himself. Yeah. Like, that's oh super gosh. cool. Yeah. I forgot that's what the school you went to because your son dances for them. Yeah, he does. That's so, so cool. proud of him. I can link it below. No, I'm kidding. I won't. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, did you do what did we do in Arizona for our, in our spare time? It wasn't a lot of it. We'll get into that and in kind of locker talk, but didn't we have like a welcome party where you were oh, with the players right. and, and family? Yeah, and I think we just got off the plane too because I remember feeling we were, kind of like melted. Yes. And you had to wear these, whenever we traveled as a group, you always had to wear these um, suits. And from it's, the Limited. Yeah, from the Limited. It's a navy suit and like a lime green um, uh, tank top. Yeah. And like high heels of some kind, either black, which I hate black and navy together. That makes me, me want to throw up. I hate it. Yeah. So like, much. can't we it's rock like a, a nude or something? Oh, it's such a pet. And- don't get me started on new for black people. <laughs> right. <laughs> new shoes for black people is not new shoes for you. Anyway, the point is. Or navy. Ew, you not know, black. Not I mean, black. Not black. Yeah. So oh I think maybe she thought that was easy. Like everybody has a pair of black pumps. Classic Never or something. Black booties. Pack a pair of black booties. Oh, right. For the after party. We had a mm-hmm. uniform for the after party. It was a top. Oh, that's right. Jeans and black Off the booties. <laughs> skinny jeans. <laughs> I remember asking her where to get like skinny jeans. And she's like, I love Express. And so I got these skinny jeans that were, like, not skinny jeans. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's my fault. Um, they were skinny Slim. jeans, but I wanted them, like, tight to my ankle. Yeah. But they weren't boot cut either. They were, like, that awkward in between. Ooh, I know what it was about. disgusting. They're I'm trying to sell Slim. them on Poshmark. Follow me on Poshmark and buy them, for the love of God. Um, oh I hate God. them. They only look good with, like, boots yeah. that come up to your knees, you know, right. that you can tuck them in. Anyways, wow, we're going on hold another tangent. Hey, this is going to be that kind of a ride. But we always had to look, like, really awkward, if you ask me. Like, can't we look like cheerleaders cute? still and I cute? Well, I, I, we heard that the concern was that we was going to be looking like a bunch of hood rat, hood rat, hoochie mamas. Just right. trying to do three life crew. too much. <laughs> <laughs> did say three life crew over the weekend. Where's my brain at? Um, but I think that was the concern. And she thought that people, like, toe on the line mm-hmm. and don't know what conservative means. But she was like, you're, you know, even the plane that we traveled on, the charter plane, were like staff and just different people and she was just really super Adamant. concerned about mm-hmm. image and looking professional and I mean that's kind of awesome though a lot because of joy you, out of it though. Yeah, but if you give some girls an inch they'll take 50 they, miles. Yeah, and it's like then where do you draw the line? Like, like the I time actually I wore kind too of much sparkle that. on my black dress for <laughs> How them. dare you stand out? <laughs> oh my but, gosh. I, you know, I was always getting in trouble. Damn it. Always. Forgetting your palms, wearing sparkle. How I mean, dare you, Makiba. But let's talk about weather a little bit, too, now that we're talking about clothes. Because okay. in New York, the whole buzz was that it was going to be so effing cold. Was it during the week leading up to Hell, it, though? Because yeah, like you guys the, were wearing beanies and stuff. We, it was cold as ice. Um, Friday, 
even Saturday. Wow. And I was prepared to freeze my tush off. At the game. At the game. It happened to be warm as hell where we could have probably just wore our whites. That's how warm Which it is was. like a two-piece, so yeah. you're kind of exposed. It was, it was that warm? It was unseasonably warm, only to be a like complete snowstorm and shit still the next day because we were stuck on the tarmac for like yeah. hours on end because of the, them de-icing the plane multiple mm-hmm. times. But anyway, Arizona had weird weather too, though. It was like foggy, and I think it started to drip drop. A little drip, bit. Drip, drop, drip. Came through dripping. <laughs> drip, drip. But they have the, like, they can close it and open it. I don't know how easy that is. Oh, yeah. But they have, like, a real grass field. Like, it just felt weird. It, it was, felt like Florida, you know? It's like it's supposed to be hot right. and, like, tropical yeah. a little bit. Arizona, I think, desert, hot, dry. It was, like, foggy and weird. Weird. The cab driver, the day of the game, we were, we tried to go to, like, a pro, like a Super Bowl shop to get some stuff like souvenirs and everything and the driver that took us over there was just saying this it was like fog and I was like oh maybe mm-hmm. this is like Seattle like giving us the good luck charm or mm-hmm. something you know a little bit of taste of Seattle with us and for good luck and he was just like this never we never have fog like this is it was on the news that it was like once in he was like we something ridiculous the last time we had fog like this was for 9-11 and That's I remember I looked said. at you and I was like this has got to be a joke it like, was, I just, like you said, that whole trip just felt very, like, like negative haunted. and haunted, haunted and, like, superstitious. I don't yeah, know. It, it was, didn't have a good taste in my mouth. No. But, no. so and that then, was awkward. Of and then, then we lost. Yeah. But it was also good that we, um, just people were coming through with the connects, man, because Sunny found us those little pumps, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. for clothes and stuff, and, like, KL, shout out to KL. She ended up getting these white, those white puffy jackets that we now own, thank God. The big ones. Oh, yeah, we yeah, yeah. We had to bedazzle them all night long because we didn't have you anything. You guys bedazzled them? We didn't have any heavy winter jackets. So right. we, all those promos that we did, we would have just been in our promo attire if Kale didn't come through with the dang on hookup. Okay. Thank God. Anyway. That was before me. Yeah. Are we staying organized? Is this making sense to people? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. What else? Okay, Let's so there's like a welcome party yes. and... Um, you know, that was a little awkward because many of us are of drinking age, but don't help yourself to the open bar, yeah. you know, but eat, but don't eat because we don't eat. Right. You know, right, right. It was really weird. But it was, it was nice to be able to try to let your hair down a little bit mm-hmm. and mingling with, you know, people and, um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Like, we did a rally. Because there's so many, like, fan Mm -hmm. appearances as well. Like, there was a huge rally in Arizona. They filled up a whole baseball field full of fans. Performing on that stage was pretty dope. Yeah, that was cool. Actually, because I was just, like, overwhelmed for a minute. Me too. It was a sea of people. Because I don't don't think I've ever been on a stage like that with so many people watching. Like, Touchdown City. Ooh, People don't care. They're sitting. Exactly. This was like, a, it felt like a concert. Yes. And like people were so excited like, to see us and yeah. we were dancing and we were doing like the touchdown dance or like I one of my like favorite I came dances. I in and out of that performance like at least yeah, three times. Yeah, totally like, blacked out. Blackout. Totally don't remember what I did, but it was so fun. It was actually really fun. Yeah. Well, what other appearances? Just random stuff. Right. Right? I mean, nothing really. I mean, it's just a very busy, busy weekend. Yeah. Um, you see a lot of celebrities out and about. So you see them at the game. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Do you want to talk about the actual game? Yes. Okay. The good so, one what was it that? like winning? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, just being at the game itself, the lights are brighter than they ever are at mm-hmm. your own home field, at least. It feels like that. And. You see celebrities in the stands. Like, mm-hmm. I saw Gail King. You so know, cool. And I was, like, freaking out. Like, she literally was, like, walking down the steps because all the people who have the good seats in the front are mm-hmm. probably rich. And all I could think of was, like, oh, my God, where's Oprah? But as soon as I saw her, <laughs> I was already smiling, I'm sure, but my face just completely lit up. And I, like, waved because I lose myself. I'm like, hey, yeah. girl, what's up, Gail? <laughs> and she smiled and, like, and mouthed, like, congratulations. And oh, it was that's just, so like, sweet. And, of course, and I was like, where's Oprah, you know? <laughs> Who did you see on the field? So, um, at our game, the losing one, um, (laughs) John Legend sang the anthem. That's right. And him and Chrissy Teigen were walking to get ready, and 
like girls jumped on them. Oh my god! And she just wanted a picture with the mascot because everybody thinks the mascot's funny. Yeah. And so people like jumped on that. So I saw them, which was really cool. Um, I saw Ice Cube, or yeah, mm-hmm. what's his name, in the stands. And uh, Lenny did part of the halftime, halftime show. Thank you with mm-hmm. Missy. And so he was kind of like hanging out before it started. And I was like, Lenny, Lenny, come here. Oh my God, Lenny. And, um, it was so funny. One of our teammates was like, is that Prince? And I was like, <laughs> no. And of course he, we posted a photo on our Instagram. You should check it out. But, um, yeah, everybody bum rushed him and it kind of didn't made me sad. Like, you don't even know who that is. Yeah. But super cool that he came by and was like, you know, being his cool He's self. So hot. He is so hot. I mean, just rock star. I know. Skinny jeans, nice see everything. Hot. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello. Oh. Anyway. Well, and then speaking of halftime, we got to stay out there and watch Missy Elliott with Katy Perry. So we saw Left Shark yeah, that live. Was live. It right was so the cool. Side. That was. Compared to my year where it was like, okay, everybody knows that I'd be loving me some Bruno Mars, but finding out who was doing the Super Bowl halftime, and only to daydream in my mind that we were going to like somehow be a part of it last They minute. should utilize least, that they have professional dancers all around oh them. My God. It doesn't make any sense. We I don't get it. We had to go back to the locker room and watch on the TV in the locker room, okay? Like, it was so... Sad. I would like to take credit that she changed her mind because I begged her. You did? I did. I was like, Sherry, can we please, like, is there any way we can watch halftime? Because I heard last year you didn't get to, and I just feel like <gasps> it would be so you. awesome. I totally did. Oh, I will and I remember you. she was like, oh, you know, I'm sure other girls mentioned it too, but I was like, she's like, I'll try. And Oh, good, because it was so depressing. I mean, I literally, because I just, in my mind, thought that we were going to be out Free there. concert. Yes. I mean, okay, not watching it from the locker room. Mm-hmm. Like, I was devastated, but it's okay. Talk about the locker rooms. Though. I was going to say. I know say, we're all over the place, but whatever. Same yeah. way. Yeah. My year, I don't remember sharing the locker room with the other team. Okay. The year we lost, mm-hmm. there was literally like paper thin curtain separating us in the visitor Arizona mm-hmm. Cardinals locker room. Um, there oh, was the right. Arizona yeah. Cardinal bird everywhere, and it was pretty cool. It was a nice locker room, nicer than the one back home. Right. Oh, for sure. But, Gosh. you know, you're kind of, like, sharing the bathroom with the enemy, and yeah. they're trying to be nice to me, and I'm like, we're going to win, so you bonded don't with the redhead, I though. did. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember her name. That's mean, but, but I did post a, a photo, and then I took it down, because I was like... Too much love. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just yeah. kidding. But it is a tight quarter. Well, it was a big enough locker room. It was just the fact that... Not much was separating you. Right. And if you... I don't know. It felt like they were listening in on our strategy, even though it's, like, yeah. too late and nobody cares. Well, that's another reason why it felt jinxy when we ended up dancing when they were performing. Cause I'm exactly. Like, I would have been like, bitches. No, yeah. If they would have done that for us, <laughs> I, I would have been like, they were dancing. And how rude. I know. But they got to dance first. So if they had done it to us, I probably wouldn't have cared. Yeah. I would have been like, oh, it's normal. But they, they didn't do that. They didn't. They were nice. I know. Well, you know. But they also, they're one of the teams that have, like, a promo and a dancing squad. So Mm -hmm. I didn't really interact with them. I think all the appearances I did, like, on TV, it was, like, just, you know, Seagulls. Okay. It wasn't any involvement or, like, incorporating the Patriots, too. So did you guys encounter anybody? the morning of... um for Good Morning America in New York, it was like with the Broncos cheerleaders. So we, they were on one side and we were on the other. The mascots were there. It was actually in Times Square. It was cold as Wow. F. That's cool, though. But it was so... People don't realize sometimes that we don't actually do cheers. So they were like... Do a cheer. Do a cheer. And like they wanted it to be like this thing for... Spell out like, Seahawks or like something. Like we were doing Let's Go Seahawks and they were doing Let's Go Broncos. Like a little freaking stupid cheer match or whatever. But yeah. we were like... It but was that's just not awkward what we do. Tell, that's not what we do. Yeah. And so we were kind of forcing it. But um, but I was asking, like, were the Patriots promo team there? And did they do remember. appearances or did they have just their dancers there and, and do appearances? Because I didn't see them much at all okay. the appearances that yeah. I did either. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was a little awkward. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know we're talking about cheering the game. So let's talk about cheering the game because, again, bright lights, biggest stage, Seeing celebrities, you feel like you're a rock star. Mm-hmm. You just you're listening and shining. And did you guys wa- do the same dance that we did for our moment? No. Okay, I didn't we know did if she kept it. Oh, that's right. See, that's a badass dance yeah, too. We did thunderstruck, and it just felt like 
Yeah. Yes, exactly. Rockstar. Totally, totally. We did work, work, work it. Mm-hmm. What is it? Work? Um, you better work. You, yeah. Da, 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 that was a group dance that we made up. So it was really interesting that that ended up being, that was just a hit, I guess, for whatever yeah. reason. I didn't love it. I that loved much. it because for half of the dance, I was like down on like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, head part. down. And like all these girls were doing all this technical crap. And I'm like, <laughs> yay, I can breathe. <laughs> Because I can't do a calypso into a coupe turn into a triple. So I'm just going to sit here with my head down. Oh, true. That was a very peaceful part of the and They, dance. like, used you as a prop to, like, do the tilt kick and stuff. I'm just like, yeah, killing it. I'm going to dance with my neck. <laughs> and there's Lindsay. That was Lindsay. part of the dance, too. Yes, right? Because I was just like, yeah, you guys Because it was so it. long. It was their big time solo, for sure. Um, oh, yeah, hands high. <laughs> To kick. Yeah, I get it, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. But the rest of it was like jam packed with all this stuff going mm-hmm. on. So it was great to kick just get line, in everything. Yeah, everything was happening. Everything, everything. But you guys didn't dance while they did no, their dance. We did not. Okay. We did not. I think we already covered that. But, but you know, let's curious. talk about how, okay, so we do have the best seats in the house for the game, mm-hmm. but it was like we couldn't see the game as good as we could at home because mm-hmm. there's like 50 million more media people. They're taking up all the space. You know, like, we felt crowded. Like, there's two squads stacked in front, one on top of the other, on either side of the bench. And it's like, we were just, we didn't have a lot of real estate. Yeah. I didn't like And that. for Arizona, it was weird dancing on actual grass, because it's a little bit more slippery. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't really do my homework and memorize my songs. So I was, like, looking at Gretchen the whole time, like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, is that ours? And she's like, no. You know, like, trying to stay on top of my job. Yeah. Um, but I just remember, like, something's off. At, yeah, the at the game. And, you know, you're thinking about so much like, oh, we're going to perform at the quarter change, blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, the game started wrapping up. It looked like we were going to win. Yeah. And so they rolled out these cannons. And you can tell that it was going to be blue and green confetti. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I can't believe it. I'm finally going to win a Super Bowl. Oh, my gosh. And, and then, you know football better than me, but that play happens. And right. it just, like, the energy shifts. And not e- only that, but they start wheeling away the confetti cannons. 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 And start brilliant. bringing out the red, white, and blue. And I was like, this is not happening. And I look over to my right and I just see Marshawn Lynch shaking his head with his helmet off. And I'm a dumb football girl. I'm like, why isn't he out there? Like, oh, my, <laughs> oh God. my God. He should have been out there. And I just was like, man, beast mode. Like, he should have been in that play. It just apart from there. Like, like, our guys started fighting and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I definitely was, you know, in my mind, of course, like, from the year before, uh, you know, I'm standing there with my hands on my hips, you know, I... It was warm. I chucked all my, like, hand warmers and things that I thought I was going to need that game. And This I was is New York game. In New York. And so I was like, okay, this is... And we were winning so much. I mean, you were we killing were, we were them. Killing it was them. obvious. So it was kind of like we kind of knew, right? But I remember noticing the year that we won that the little confetti guns were coming. So when we were in Arizona, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember this part. This is when the confetti people come. <laughs> you know, just, like, getting all ready. Yeah. And then I was on the opposite end of the field. And so I just was thinking... Yes, like we're about to do that shit mm-hmm. right here. We're at the goal line. Like, there's no way it can go wrong. But I will have to say, even before that, though, just for me, I just got to say it. Like, I just felt like the second half of that game, our defense was not playing as strong. We had a lot of hurt guys. And I just remember compared to Den- Denver's game, like, you could hear the hits, you know what I'm saying, yeah. from being on the field. And like, we were just hard hitting and just, uh. And something was off. Something was off with the way we were playing. But I was still, because they got back in the game. Mm-hmm. It didn't have to come down to that last play. But I was just thinking, we're still going to do it. We can do it. It's the, it's the miracle plays. We keep having these miracle games and miracle plays. Same. And it's all going to work out. I was out. saying my lucky number like I did yeah. in the championship yeah. game. Like, we're going to be fine. I literally have my hands on my hips like I'm on the sidelines right now. But I just will never forget that moment of like, okay, here come the confetti, confetti guns. And then the audience reacted and it was all the Patriots fans around me. And I'm looking at them like, what are you doing? Because I couldn't mm-hmm. see until the replay what the hell happened. And I just, my heart sank because I was just like, that's it. My God. Like, Mm -hmm. oh my, this is not happening. Like, it was so surreal. And this was the same year as Deflate Gate, huh? Mm -hmm. So that's why it was even more like pissed off. It was the same. It was because we were like, we shouldn't even be playing them because they cheated. That's what it was like. That was like the whole vibe of. Mm 
us playing them even. But so. when you win, I think we talked about it with the Lin- with Lindsay's episode mm-hmm. of like, where are you now? Like you have the victory lap. You're like, there's confetti. There's the whole trophy ceremony. It's so much going on. We stayed out there for a hell of when we won. When we lost. It was like, move it, move it, move hustle, it. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Because we're sharing the locker room with these chicks. We don't want them coming back here while we have to listen to them, like, mm-hmm. celebrate and be giddy. So oh, everybody boy. hustle back there, pack their shit. Well, I remember walking back in the tunnel that we came out of. Mm-hmm. And because, um, remember, I asked to stay out, so I don't even think we got a break. Because oh. she was like, well, if you guys watch halftime, oh, no we're breaks. not break. Yeah, so what do you right. want? A break or watch it? And I was like, watch, watch it. it. You know? Yeah. So that was, you know, the one and only time that we left. And I remember looking up and seeing Patriot fans like, ah, like laughing and being jerks. Because some of the girls were crying. Exactly. And the dramatics were dead. But I mean, I remember seeing players leaving it out of their locker room around the same time. Like, I feel like everybody hustled and got the F It was. Out of there. It was like, get out of here. Get out of here now. Yep. Go to the bus. And then you're sitting on the bus. But then we had to change into our after party outfit, which is the gorgeous off the shoulder gray tank and the skinny <laughs> jeans that weren't too skinny for me and the booties. So you're sitting on the bus like, I don't want to go anywhere. Exactly. Like, I'm so over this. Oh, because like when we won, we're sitting on the bus like waiting forever because we're mm-hmm. in traffic and everything else to get to I the bet. after party. And we're just seeing videos online of how people reacted to us winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. And, it was just, and you're just sitting stuck in traffic. and you're, But it's just such a cool feeling like, oh, my God, we won. And you're just seeing home and, like, mm-hmm. how much everybody's, like, going crazy. Oh, true. And this time we were just, like, eh. depressed on the right. bus forever. Okay, so then you guys went to an after party. Was it kind of the same as Arizona? Because, like, that's the only one I can refer to. Yeah. But it's – was it at the Players? At the Players Hotel. Okay. Um and free food and free, free drink food, free and all drink, that stuff. Flowing, Did people participate that? in that? Yeah, I think Heck it was yeah. all, that's all, I mean, yep. Cuz we, like, yeah, we definitely participated did. after losing, but Fix, I didn't know yeah. if it was like, oh, okay, yeah, you did. guys are going to be tempted, but don't. No, it was definitely go crazy. Just don't do anything stupid. Yeah. And it was, you know, for our for the year that we won, we'd been dancing to Macklemore, The Ceiling Can't Hold Us. Cuz he's a hometown guy, and, you know. I don't think he's doing much these days, but, you know, whatevs. But big at the time, and it was like some hometown love with us. But he was our after-party performer along with... And that's it. Paul Allen's band was playing oh, yeah, yeah. and stuff. And so... And then they played regular music, but it was definitely way different than having Snoop Dogg and freaking yeah, Drake and stuff. Which that was like, ah, uh, for after a loss like that. I know. I forgot we lost because I was... Well, what do mm-hmm. we do? So we get there. We is we this lost. locker talk? No, not yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. We're just talking about the loss. Okay. We got to talk about you know when the victory parade and just some of the other stuff that comes from being Super Bowl champions. Yeah. To wrap it up before locker. So talk. you're right. So we we lose. Like we get out there, get out of the stadium pretty quickly. I'd say. Yeah. We head to this beautiful, Immaculate. expansive. Yeah. I don't even know compound where the players are staying. And I think that was the same place we had the welcome party. Mm -hmm, Um, mm -hmm. And there's, like, plenty of rooms and... Nobody's dancing. Nobody's nobody's dancing. Nobody's actually even there. And so I was like, I'm drinking. Yeah. I'm drinking. So I went up to the bar. I got my drink. We were walking around. And I didn't even know. Like, I had no idea. This is my first Super Bowl ever. So people were like, yeah, you know, Snoop Dogg's going to perform. I'm like, what? No, he's not. Like, because there was a little stage. Mm -hmm. And we went into this, the room had like a dance floor on the stage. And um, I just remember looking around the room and I was probably getting buzzed by this point. (laughs) Like, oh, who's in here? But it was Seahawks staff, you know, just everybody that came out, players, family, people that work at the pro shop, like everybody came out and not as welcome, but if you... But they didn't have anywhere else to go. It was kind of like... Yeah. Unless you went to celebrity parties elsewhere in the city, but everybody's there. You're everybody's one big, there. One big, not happy family, but one big family. And then yeah. we somehow became like hype women to get the party started. We did. I was like, this is not going to happen. <laughs> Two vodka sodas in. <laughs> this, this is not, not going to happen. Like so I was like, let's dance. Like, we're cheerleaders. We're spreading cheer. Yeah. Like, let's just dance. And I remember we like... I Everyone swear to God, it was like, you and me. Yeah, just and me and you. And probably some other people, I don't know. Um, 
they we started gradually it. Joined us, but gradually we were joined doing us. It by ourselves. All the other gals started joining us, and we were just like dancing. It was like, probably only like twenty people, it. but yeah, like who cares? We and lost. like some of the players' kids came out and danced mm-hmm. with us, and so we got the party. Started. Yeah, and it wasn't anything like crazy. We were just like dancing to whatever Trying was to on the kill playlist. The buzz kill that yeah. was in the air because obviously people were devastated, and not necessarily in the mood. But I'm yeah. with you. I was just kind of like. I'm about F to it. eat, drink, and be merry. You should. Right. It's we, over with. What can we Season's do? Season's over. Like, let's fun. celebrate that at least. Yes, yeah. So we'll save the rest for luck or talk. Yes. But, you know, on a happier note, when you do win, you go back home and, you know, like I said, never mind that we sit on the runway for hours and hours trying to get out of there. Mm-hmm. We basically partied from the after party and went straight to the hotel to pick up your shit and straight to the airport. So I didn't sleep. So, I mean, it was fine for me to stick be stuck all that time but basically you get home to seattle well are you going to talk about how you guys had to sit on the airplane because it was frozen so oh yeah that's what i meant for again. being on the runway for fucking oh. ever because um yeah I it mean, literally we, was like it was 16 they had hours to de- i used to play in a million times i don't know why they didn't just let us off but you know you got all this food coming i was comfortable and then oh was, you were we girls were. made it sound like it was miserable like you guys were just as frozen and no i wasn't miserable they fed you they had movies all kinds of, i mean they, oh yeah we weren't hurting. I All was, right. I was ready to probably People pass need out. To chill. And, yeah. I heard it was like devastating and, you know, yeah. just awful or something. I don't know. No, I didn't think it was that bad, but I probably fell asleep, you know, me in the airplane. <laughs> you freaking won Super Bowl. I mean, you know what I mean? There would be no complaining. Complains when you, when you lose. But yeah. you get back home and they schedule a victory parade. Which was everybody just, went to. I didn't. I've <laughs> never seen that many people in Shut Seattle. down. People just, were leaving work. They were leaving school. Like, they were making it to downtown some way or another when, and it was like as far as you could see the, the crowd like I can't imagine going to a parade and being like blocks down from the actual street that the parade is going down uh-huh. and just to say that I was there it was so cold holy effing A it was like I've never been I've never even been that cold in Seattle in my life actually mm-hmm. I'm not trying to, I don't know what kind of record breaking it was but I mean I just remember before we took off we were in these ride the duck boats they, they had it like by cheerleaders we the, we were the start of the parade then they had like wide receivers and, oh cool you know, and, i didn't know they had it sectioned, yeah, out like sectioned that. off but um we were in the cheerleaders boat and we were waiting to start and i just saw a little girl crying because she was just so cold i gave her like my hand warmer because i'm That's just nice like you know you. like she looked i mean i wanted to die but mm-hmm. you know you're just we had those white jackets thank god and um but marshawn lynch ended up just hopping up on our boat and just Stormed through like it was nothing. I didn't even know who it was. Captain Morgan stands yeah, so on the he's boat. he's sitting on the top of our Ride the Duck boat throwing Skittles out of Someone everybody. passes him like a fifth of Hennessy and he's like hanging off trying to grab it. Yeah. But that's how Just he like, did the whole so parade. Fun. I miss him. Me too. But yeah, so the whole time that we're going down the parade, people are throwing Skittles at Marshawn mm-hmm. and the girls who were hanging out the Ride the Buck, Duck boat were probably getting... Got pelted. Got pelted. Oh no. So that's when I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a step back and I'm just going to be like waving from here and... <laughs> just a little black hand out the window. <laughs> Hello. Because it was actually way colder too, so... I mean, when we got, so the parade goes down 4th Avenue and we get to the stadium and they had like a program and everything. I've never danced with Frozen. Macklemore (laughs) again. God God damn it. it. Macklemore again. damn it. Um, I've never danced with Frozen Feet. Like, when you, when we went inside into the locker room, my feet were frostbitten. I'm assuming they were because I've never been in that much pain from having my body unthaw. Like needles. And then you're in heels, right? Heels, white boots. Didn't freezing matter. cold. Freezing cold. My, I mean, doing double turns where you can't even feel your feet. Like, I could not feel my feet. It was like ice, dancing on ice blocks. But still, it was like, oh, this is great. <laughs> we won. <laughs> we won. But um, but just, you know, you're there and rejoicing with the fans. Mm-hmm. Like, people had been waiting their whole lives for that moment. It's just an infectious air of happiness and mm-hmm. joy. And... That's insane. And then a few months later, you yeah. guys got those gorgeous oh, Super Bowl right. pendants Super Bowl with their pendants. names engraved on the back. So, so you know, Super Bowl's in February. This didn't happen until September. So I was oh, almost okay. like, are you really going to get us something or not? But anyway, it was an amazing experience because the coaches, like Pete Carroll and all the coaching staff, stayed late for our banquet so that they can come and make a little speech and just basically said that you guys are part of the team, too, and we couldn't have done this without you and basically so you're sweet. with us and they they sh- we we're like in the uh, like you know around the perimeter of the room and all of the coaches just came and shook our hands going along the whole 
you know, along the whole squad to congratulate us. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't have, but that makes me want to cry. Like, oh, just it that was sounds awesome. so sweet for the, to hear them say that we value you and you're part of the team mm-hmm. and you know, rain or shine, you guys are right there with us. And it's true. And just to make a point to be there for that. Mm-hmm. I mean, because I was kind of a little bit salty that we weren't invited to the Super Bowl ring bearing yeah. ceremony for. The, they had a big party. With Usher. I think we talked about that. That's right. And I was kind of like, why wouldn't we just be invited to that? Because other teams' girls do that. I noticed that. Right, they have secret handshakes. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like. But the Bronco cheerleaders, the year that they won, you know. Got huge rings. Got huge rings, and they were part of the party. But I love your pendants, though. It's pretty. It's really pretty, and I think it's really unique. It's got our name on the back. And And it's more wearable, honestly. The ring is a little gaudy. That's what I'm saying, yeah. you know, beautiful feminine women. I mean, whatever. What but are they do then with the huge ring. ring. Yeah. It I think the taste, necklace is gorgeous. Choice. I don't wear it very often because I'm scared. I'll take it. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I'm going to rip it off my neck. But it was definitely a beautiful touch on mm-hmm. an amazing season. And no matter what, you know, 40 years down the road or whatever, when you're recognizing that Super Bowl squad, mm-hmm. you're part of that. Even a Super Bowl appearance. I mean, after hearing those stats of the teams that don't even get to go or have never been, making a Super Bowl appearance is a huge feat. Like, getting to the Super Bowl is not its not easy to do. It's no. a competitive league. and It's true. And everybody wants to win. You yeah. know, and only one team can. Right. But it's, Can't wait to see it's a who's big deal. That I know. I just really hope, like, I'm rooting for the underdog, you know? Yeah. It's I mean, just their turn. How many fingers can you put a ring on? I right. I mean, you only got ten. Yeah. What are you going to do, get a nose ring? I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah. um, so but to the, let the best team win, I love good football. I think this will be a great um, and well-coached game. Um I can't wait to see who wins. And I hope they show shots of the cheerleaders, damn it. Right. I'm excited. I'm going to be I'm, scoping the screen for oh that. Oh, my gosh. They better show them. They better show them. Yeah. Is it time for Locker Talk? It's time, oh. finally, for Locker Talk. Should we start from the beginning? This is, like, my this you, is my favorite part of, like, You Super guide Bowl us through weekend. Locker Talk because I... Okay. <laughs> Makita is a, a very bad teller. influence. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I am, though. But you know all the good spots to go, right? So I don't know if this was... It wasn't our first night. First night was the welcome in... Yes. Like, banquet party thing with all the players and family and stuff. Right. And so the second night, we had to wear fan curfew. Year. 12 o'clock curfew. Oh, my God. Um, you were like, let's just go to the W. I heard it's like downtown. It's popping. Let's mm-hmm. just go have a cocktail and see who we run into, right? Yeah, see what the night takes us. Right, mm-hmm. where it goes. <laughs> so I think a group of us Uber there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, we walk up, and I feel like... It was madness. There was, like, red velvet. Uh, Because like, who knew there was yeah, a Playboy party right. there? Actually, I didn't. Did you know? That there I did was not one? know. Okay, I didn't know. I that. just knew that they would know like where what, what was good. What was good. Yeah. So we walk up, and there's, like, a big bouncer. And I think you were talking to them. And, you know, it was us. It was me and a few other mm-hmm. gals, like, trying to figure out what was good. And um, I don't, what happened? I just Did you kind of name drop that no, we were cheerleaders? I just had to, like, plant the seed of, like, you know, I have my ways. But it was just kind of like, we're from Seattle, you know, we're here for the Super Bowl, and, you know... Here's her voice, guys. Fan- <laughs> <laughs> we're in fan gear, and I just wanted to know, like, is it going to be close off to guests mm-hmm. only? Because after a while, clearly there's a Playboy party here. Like, will we be able to come back here and have a, a drink? Mm-hmm damsel in distress okay right i was just like you know just asking a question and he was like no you can come in and have a drink because remember we went and ate at chip chipotle or whatever yeah we did across the street yes to like get some food in our little bellies and scheme on how we gonna make this happen so yeah like a little brainstorm but no didn't the guy grab my number then no did he yeah, he yes, was he like, did. "Oh my gosh, that's right." You boom, know, boom. I'm big and slow, so I was at the back of the line, turning around to leave. So while well, I'm talking up the bouncer guy, some guy takes a liking to Brittany, and it's just kind of like, you know, so you guys are. Ch- I think I had to drop the cheerleader bomb because I, I knew so. we had the limitation of only being in fan gear, and here it's a Playboy party, and everybody's going to come dressed to the nines, and here we are. I want to get mm-hmm. in. I'm just trying to make sure that you're going <laughs> to let us in looking like this because this is what you get. Yeah. And so, so the guy chimed into the conversation, and- right? And he was like, "You guys." Like, I'm a promoter for the party. Like, let me grab your number and, mm-hmm. you know, I see what I can do. I'm like, okay. So I give him <laughs> my number. 
We, I was handing that phone around at Chipotle. It was like, oh, what should I say next? What, da, da, da. Like I that was not dictated me, sir. what Brittany should text back yeah. verbatim for the guy. And it was just like, I don't know. You know, we have a curfew. What can we do? And mm-hmm. so he was like, I got you. Come to the side entrance. Like you're gonna get in. You'll get passes. I still have my little Playboy pass. Me too. <laughs> I love it. it. Is a keeper. But remember, he had us like in like a line for people who took pictures. It was some production of like, it was Promoterville. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, just wait in this line and. And so I was like, Brittany, get that phone out and tell him, well, well, thank you so much for everything that you did. Like, we unfortunately have like a 12 o'clock curfew. We can't really wait in line anymore because right. we're not going to be able to get in there. Boom. I don't know what I'm happened, like, but it's like, go talk so to much? Tony <laughs> over here. And so, ding, we get in the elevator. We come up. It opens. It is like the freaking coolest party I have ever been to in Insane. my life. We lost some gals at that point because they were like, I don't want to break the rules. I don't know. I'm in fan gear. They thought it was like so controversial. Right. I'm like, I don't party. care. I would wear, I would be dirty and like come I don't ca- like nobody cares we got in exactly. let's just go let's and just party go. it up there was freaking like uh, chair massages free food free drinks Shaq walked by actually he was yeah. rushed by by his wife like come on come on come on he's like okay and I'm like oh my gosh this guy's huge we met a Playboy bunny. Yeah, I took a picture with her. The thing was, was that even though we were in fan gear and like, I mean, in my mind, I probably would have had all kinds of outfits that I would have thought I was going to wear to a Playboy party. But the part that made it so dope was that these women looked like they were in pain and uncomfortable in their little outfits. Yeah. Everybody looked the same because they were all like decked out bodycon dress with some mm-hmm. pumps and stuff. And and here we are in fan gear getting so Duck much shoes of- like. <laughs> Just my tennis shoes. Getting so much attention and love because we were just there to have fun. We were like dancing and just like totally living it up for the 45 pretty much probably minutes that we mm-hmm. got to be in there because we couldn't, we didn't want to risk long. missing curfew. Right. Like even in New York when Mariah and I, shout out to Mariah if you're listening, um, I knew I wanted to go to Harlem and go to this place called Red Rooster. So I was like, um, since We're we didn't going. get picked for anything, let's go out. Like, mm-hmm. let's go have a drink. Because my friend that took us to Alvin Ailey School, she was like, it's a good place to go, blah, blah, blah. And when I tell you that Mariah and I ran some New York City blocks to just... You I ran like, some just blocks. Just my luck. She'll be looking... Because it had like a... In the lobby, like this <laughs> <Of course>. balcony. <laughs> and I was like, I just can imagine her sitting there looking at who's coming into 1201. this building after our, after the curfew. So we ran. We got out the cab and ran. Were we late? We were not late, though. Were we late for our appearance the next morning? No. Were we hungover or act a fool or represented poorly? No. No. We got We had like a blast and there. just was like, felt so cool that we got in. Oh, and it was like the best. It was super fun. It was awesome. Like, yeah. I've never had anything like that happen, but Mm-mm. orchestration is, is good. Yeah. And what about the Snoop party? Yeah, so then the next night, before, we went to Dave and Buster's and danced it yeah, up and just had, so like, fun. a fun night with us girls. Mm-hmm. It was cool. Pretty chill. my friend chill. That, was, that lives there. She was like, we can go to Dave and Buster's. And yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was better than going into the fray of, like, Super Bowl experience when it was just, like, too much. Yeah. So, after the loss and after we had started the, the party. after party, mm-hmm. like, it's okay that we lost... All of a sudden, they're like, Snoop Dogg, you know, to the stage. And I was like, what? No way. Like, I just had no idea that he was even performing. I don't know why. I Maybe I didn't get the schedule. But we made it to, like, be right in the front row. Right in the front, because we were just having fun in general and already dancing. And, of course, I know every Snoop song. Like, yeah. I'm not some lame okay? Yeah. I knew we every song. We saw him at the Celebrity Flag football game, but not close enough to be like, yeah. hey, Snoop, here's the picture we took with you. But right. Anyway, go ahead. So, we're just loving the music, and, um, um, husband, plug your ears. Um, <laughs> I look over to the right, and I see this pretty cute guy. Yeah. And I was like, wow, he's cute. He was cute. totally checking you out the entire time. And I was just like dancing, like shaking my head towards the stage, like just acting a fool like I do. Cause, like, cause we, yeah. And I'm funny. like, I'm awkward. Yeah. I'm dorky. There's no way this guy's like actually looking at me, you yeah. know? And then, um, I, what happened? I think Snoop Dogg's like, that's it. Or yeah, he, he was ending show. it. Yeah. And that guy was, you were like, Brittany, he's pointing at you. And I'm like, what? And so he goes, come here, like come across the stage. And so, I, I mean, I was three well, or yeah, four. Yeah, we kind of called. We're called on the stage before it officially wrapped. Okay. And then when he was so, like, I was over there talking yeah, to him, exactly. and he was like, "Hey, you know, talking to me." And I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm so awkward." <laughs> and um, 
he was like, can I get your number? And I was like, yeah, sure, here's my number. And then I'm like, I got to go back to my friends. And he's like, okay. <laughs> and so I start walking. Around. And when I'm like walking back around to go to the commoners. No, I'm kidding. Just go back <laughs> to the crowd. And then I look over and all these bitches are running across. So from our perspective, it looked like you got... You know, kind the of like end. the end to go backstage. Not that yeah. there's like a true backstage, but I don't know who hopped over the thing first. They were just like, I'm going too. So yeah, then we pretty much all. Well, I was I, a little worried about you as a mom, a little bit like, um, where are they taking my best friend? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, I so just, I think we, I don't even know how the momentum started, but basically the whole crew that we were with decided to go across the stage too. Maybe yeah. somebody signaled for us to come. I don't know. But next so thing you know, we're I, following you, but you had left the yeah. other direction. And so I turn around like, what, my friends, can I go back? And the guy, and then the guy's like, wait, what? Yeah, sure. Whatever. He like didn't care. Yeah. So then, um, I don't know. We followed them up this road and like back around to their suite, like where they had a yeah. bunch of food. You were on the like, food. I love you. Like, oh, you got good food back here. <laughs> green room basically exactly it wasn't, like, officially backstage no. it probably looked a little skankish because like it totally did but i, I mean i mean i didn't know we didn't know i was thinking i didn't want it to look like you just went and went back there and started giving some head or something right really yeah outrageous or you know I'm what like, i mean yeah so, <laughs> i that sounds really bad i'm gonna edit that out but like no. i just didn't want you to be out there by yourself i think that's what i was thinking me neither that's why i started to come back to you guys and then you guys <laughs> came to back me up so i'm like well f this i'm coming with you but when we went up there it was only there like green room with all this food and snacks so i'm yeah. like oh hell yeah like right. you know it was chill we I have, probably could have hung was, out there a lot longer than we did oh, we see did. this is what i'm saying oh we did was think that like we like maybe this is bad but like we are such good girls it's crazy yeah. but anyways that boy turned it out to be not even like of legal age he was like 17 years <laughs> old and it's snoop's son <laughs> that's right and ot genesis was up there yeah 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 he totally sang i'm in love with the coco and i'm like loving it and it's like <laughs> that is so inappropriate for like after a but Seahawks. it was so fun though it we, was we so took fun. we took a picture with snoop we just i was chatting it up with the uh body big guard, boy the bouncer. big boy who was guarding the snacks and i'm just eating it up back there and honestly it was just complete innocence yeah and i know that there were some girls who were like that looked really. Just it probably awful. did, but I just didn't want it to look like you just disappeared off. And yeah. So we, it was more like take a picture with Snoop. I, that's was. what I think everybody was thinking. <clears throat> like I'm gonna go, and we didn't know we were going backstage. It could have been just to the side of the stage, mm-hmm. but we took the shortcut. Yeah, we did. But then when we look back, because Drake performed next, and all the girls had like taken our spots in mm-hmm. the front row and definitely being extra with them. right. But that's literally like. The amount of time it took me to tell you the story was how long we were back there. Yeah. We literally were like, so nice to meet you. He was puffing on his joint. Yeah. We each got a photo, group photo, uh, which I think I've already posted as well. And literally, we're like, well, and then we, we got to go. the party. We yeah. rejoined the party. Yeah. So, yeah, the next up, which we walked in, one song in, was Drake. Mm-hmm. And there was some girls that were like, okay, those girls before us got backstage with Snoop. I'm <laughs> getting backstage with, with Drake. Drake. Exactly. And, like, I've never seen such, like, thirstiness. It was exactly. pretty bad. And I was it, like, that looked worse that's to embarrassing. Then just, like, enjoying Snoop's music. Because Snoop's we were totally... not hot. I mean, even if he was, it, that wasn't the point. It I was mean, just. Right. That's not the point. <laughs> it was a great distraction. You know? It was. I forgot we lost. Mm-hmm. Drake reminded me that we lost because his performance was, like, I don't want to be here. I'd rather be somewhere else. Mm-hmm. It was you very guys lost. flat. I was just... Mm-hmm. And this was... I mean, he was always popular, but I enjoyed Snoop's performance way, yeah. way, 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 way more. And it was just fun. And I think after that, we just went to the other room where they had, like, just a DJ. Because when the concerts ended, it was kind of... I don't know what happened over there. It cleared out pretty quick. And then, like you said, the first Super Bowl, um, it was literally like, okay, 2, 3 a.m., we're getting on the bus, mm-hmm. and we had to have our stuff packed prior to the game. Right. Just you grab that. your stuff, change back into that awful suit, and it felt like the world was ending. It was like, go, 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 go. Like, you're dropped off in the middle of, like, the airport hangar, hangar kind of yeah. and it's like you jump on a plane, and you take off, and you go home, and you, like, didn't sleep At for all. two days, you yeah. know? It's just so crazy it's experience. Whirlwind. It is. And they're in ATL right now. Like, can you imagine? But the it was parties? cold. I was just oh, there. Yeah, that's true. But hopefully it warmed up. I don't think it did. But that's another thing that the locals were telling me because I was asking if they were excited about Super Bowl. And they're like, this isn't a very pedestrian friendly city at oh, all. Spread it. Yeah. And they yeah. were like, so, you know. 
the Uber drivers are like, I'm going to make a lot of money, but it's basically going to be like the worst traffic, traffic ever. ever. Exactly. So he's, they're like, I don't know how people think they're going to all fit. I mean, if you imagine Seattle too, like as much as it sounds cool to host the Super Bowl, I don't think I really want that. Hot mess. I would take the whole week and weekend off from yeah. work. No, it's not the same. Mm-mm. Not the same, but. I mean, shout out to the teams. I hope you are living it up in Atlanta and like going to all the parties. Go to a W if you are confused as to how to get get Heck it in. Yes. Um, it's just I just hope they have so much fun. I could see the Rams having a totally different take on partying. Like they're in L.A. for crying out loud. True. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just can see it being Celebrityville. Yeah. We want now. I feel like we kind of now that we have followed like twenty six Pro Bowl cheerleaders. Now I kind of want to follow like every Rams cheerleader. Let's do it. Why not? And Patriots cheerleader just to see what they do while they're there. True. I mean, because you don't always get the good stuff from like the team account. No, that's absolutely true. Yeah, and they don't have social media rules that say they they can't post on their personal social media Mm -hmm. what they're doing while they're a cheerleader. So we'll get the skinny. Yeah. But have the best time ever, and thanks for listening to our story. Hopefully it wasn't all over the place. But oh, whatevs. You've got to be used to us by now, right? Yeah, it's so cool, and I just love it. What are I, we talking about next week? Next week, it's all about international cheerleaders. Like, think about it. Like, all the touring and traveling that cheerleaders do, it's, it's a U.S. thing, but it's spreading like wildfire all over the world we have listeners technically all over the world we over do 20 countries saudi arabia we have a listener there we have pakistan russia I, yeah slatvia or latvia <laughs> something like that the point is um we are going to do our research and understand what the ch- cheerleading likes looks like on an international level yeah so, so if you guys have any inside knowledge about international cheerleaders send it our way and definitely follow us we post a lot on our social media, mm-hmm. Pro Cheer Podcast on Twitter, and Pro Cheerleading Podcast on, on Instagram. Instagram. And all of our stuff is finally up on YouTube. So if you want to see what Pro Bowl Experience was like, feel free to check it out. And we'll be posting more. So that's a wrap. Thanks for listening. Super Bowl Shuffle. See you guys next week. Go Rams. <laughs>